Governor, thank you for spending time with us today. I'm Ken from Nashua. And uh, through my work, I uh, travel the U.S. roads, highways, and bridges, and uh, they are definitely in need of attention. However, uh, the country has staggering debt, and uh, we need to reduce uh, spending and make that a major priority. As president, um, faced with, um, if you're faced with fixing a problem by spending on one hand, and spending reduction on the other, how will you address our nation's infrastructure? Well, let's, let's look at the, at the highway setting to begin with. I'll, I'll tell you what we did when I, when I came in as the governor of my state. Uh, I found out that we had 550 structurally deficient bridges in Massachusetts. If any of you drive down there, I'll give you a list. <laughs> the good news is they weren't ready to fall down. But, but I knew that at some point, the bridges, for instance, would, would have a load limit changed, where trucks of, that carrying heavy loads wouldn't be able to go over them, and that would affect our commerce and could affect jobs. And, and so I said, look, we've got to go from spending what we had been spending, $100 million a year, on, on bridge and repair, and move it to $200 million a year. So one of the things you have to do is prioritize those things which are most important to you. And infrastructure, and having good roads, and bridges, and rail lines, and so forth, and, and, and air traffic lines are essential for a strong economy. I, I'm willing to invest in those things, and even borrow in circumstances where there's going to be a revenue stream that pays it back. I, I don't like borrowing if it's just paying every day's expenses, and then kicking on the borrowing to our kids. But if I'm willing to pay back, with, a, with a, a, a particular stream of revenue, well, that's something I'll do. Here in New Hampshire, you, 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 have, you have tolls. And uh, I know that's not real popular, but uh, <laughs> more popular than a sales tax or an income tax. And, and so you have a dedicated stream of revenue, and so the state's able to build a highway or to, uh, to repair bridges and so forth, and the revenue stream you have pays it back. With regards to the federal highway system, we're going to have to follow the same model. We're going to have to, have, we're going to, have to make an investment to repair our bridges, repair our roads, and have a specific dedicated revenue stream of some kind paying back uh, those, uh, uh, those costs. Uh, because we can't, we can't have a, a highway system that, that makes it almost impossible for, uh, for our commerce to occur on, a, uh, um, on an effective basis. There are lots of ideas about how to do that. Do we have a bonding program of some kind that pays back? Do we use tolls? Do we use some other method? Uh, I, I will be open to the kinds of ideas that come forward but I believe we do have to invest in our basic infrastructure. I was uh, a little disappointed that when the president borrowed $787 billion and said we're going to have a lot of shovel-ready projects, we didn't get much of that. And uh, it would have been a lot better than, than, uh, than what we spent a lot of our money on. I was also disappointed in that $787 billion of borrowing that with men and women in harm's way in Afghanistan and Iraq, we spent nothing on weapons or armament or protection for those soldiers. Uh, if if, uh, if we're going to borrow, it's going to borrow for those things that have a return on the borrowing. Thank you.